Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't.
What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay. okay? Yes. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm gonna go check it out. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you.
you. Hey, why are you shouting? What? No, but I heard something. Let's just get out of here. Come on! Oh God, I thought you said you checked it! I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out! It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal! You didn't see it! It was a woman! Lord, or this isn't helping, all right? Go! There we go! We're good, see? Please just get us out of here. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh, ah! fuck. Oh my God, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah, um... We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... You know, here we are. Something jumped out? I'm sorry, it was, just, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> you 
You're not gonna make it to Hackett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Do respect, sir. Why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? Thanks for all your help, though, back there. What is that supposed to mean? You were shaking like a broken washing machine. I could have used a little backup. I mean, he clearly liked you better. Well, I'm very likable. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> hey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. Like, <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20 is... debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kinda into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... 
I'll yeah. beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. some help. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... You sure? Hammer time. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Max? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> Oh. 
I think I'm bleeding a lot. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes and terrifying but if you're brave enough if you let me help you i can help you we can help each other you didn't find anything and so i've nothing to show you you need to look harder the cards are out there if you don't help me how can i help you we're supposed to be f only you can find them there are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger.
Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be the lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <laughs>